loosened up. And then so basically we made the flower bed we are cutting costs because there's no need to be spending a lot of money on things that you can find cheaper dollar tree has shower curtains for a dollar so we bought two lined the bottom of the flower bed poked holes in the liner and in the wood with a drill and then we filled it with packing peanuts to make it lighter and right now we're putting peat moss. Because of that. Ooh, okay. we left your phone. Yeah, let's put it down. Which one do you want? Gray pencil or? Okay, so right now we are using our soil, which is the vegetable and garden soil. And we're going to mix it, well, we're going to put it on top of the peat moss and just kind of even it out. And it's called Flower and Vegetable Garden Soil, and it's by Stay Green. I got my two awesome men helping me out. Doing a fantastic yeah, job. Mix it in with the pearl the pearl. And then we're just going to mix it in real good. By the way, these braised beds are super, super heavy. So that's why we put some of the um, packing popcorn in the bottom. So that way it doesn't weigh as much. Okay, so right now we're going to put perlite. And this improves the draining and it gives aeration in potting mixes. Yeah, and then when we get this other one, we'll mix it all in. Okay, so now we're going to use the Miracle Grow raised bed soil, and this is to help grow bigger and more bountiful plants. Bountiful? And then you're just gonna mix it all in. So, okay. having the perlite in there as well as that soil, it's going to expand when it's um, heated up. So, whenever there's water in there and it's hot, it starts expanding, which allows for the aeration to start their process. And that also helps the plants to grow. How are you guys doing? So tomorrow when I get my staple gun, I'll be stapling the corners. So that way they are attached correctly and then I'll finish painting them and then I can start planting all my plants and my seeds. Okay so some of the things that I will be planting is going to be Greek oregano, Thai basil, lavender, I'm going to have cucumbers, these are called black beauty, I also have garden sage, I have lemon balm, I have peppermint, I have bee balm, sweet marjoram, I have sweet peppers that are called Golden California Wonder, I have a purple bell sweet pepper, and then I have two eggplants. And um, I also have a whole bunch of seeds, and I'm going to have potatoes. I have red onions that I'm going to be planting. And also I wanted to give you guys a little hint. If you have onions in your house and you cut the top off, like right here, if you plant that in the ground and water it, they will grow. It's crazy, but this is what gives you those green onions, the chives. So here's my hubby drilling the holes that we're going to need at the bottom of the bed. So you need little holes in the bottom of the bed so that way the water can drain out. Okay, some more of the things that I'm going to plant are watermelon, beets. I have a microgreens hot mix. I have cherry tomatoes. I have more lavender. 
I have rocket salad, mesquin, lettuce, and I have arugula. And I also have jalapenos in my actual garden beds, and I have more tomatoes, and I have squash and radish, and more onion and um, sweet peppers. So, yeah, I have a good variety of things going. Here we go. We're putting the packing peanuts at the bottom of the beds. So now we just pour it in and just mix it. And these you can buy at any office supply store. Ace has them as well. Um, I actually was able to get them at Office Depot today. They were actually on sale, two bags, and get the third one free. And then we're gonna go ahead and add the peat moss. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put that stay green flower and gardening soil. Put some dust in them in? Yep. I don't know about you ladies, but you need to get you a man that does this for you. Training my son. So there's going to be one lucky girl that's going to marry this guy one day. That's, that's like Teaching him well. See and he can cook too. Of that one. I can come back. Why only Saturdays? Yeah, I think it's pretty special. Okay, so we're adding perlite again to the top. Just going to spread it around evenly. And then we're going to put the raised bed soil on top of that. Now you want to make sure that after you do all of this, you're going to get some water in there. You're going to sprinkle it before you put your plants in. There goes the soil. And you don't want to get any cheap soil for when you're starting your yeah, first garden beds because you want to have the best of the best that's going to give it a better chance of survival for your plants and once you've established your plants in there there's going to be some that come back every year and then there's going to be some that you'll have to replant but you want to make sure that it gives all the right nutrients that's what i was saying nice and fluffy That so really deep. what we're going to do is tomorrow I got to go back to the home improvement store and I got to get more soil because I want it to get at least up to here. I want to get a good amount of soil in there so that way my plants can establish a good root system and that way they can grow nice and healthy and strong. So what do you think I need? <laughs> Two big cow. Two big bags of cow poop. <laughs> Manure. Manure as in as in the movie Greater. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna mix it in. Oh, another thing too, you can put eggshells, you can put in banana um the banana skin in there. Anything like scraps and stuff from other vegetables in your garden, it creates a good compost for your plants and your um, fruits and vegetables huge. thank you babe for creating this wonderful raised bed over here for me and i am going to start vlogging about my gardening and how i turn this bare area over here into a little retreat okay guys you guys have a good night and i will keep you posted on day two